good afternoon to you all from me, Maxi. And from me, Maro. Here we are at Boogie Street in Singapore. Today we're going to take you on a little tour of the Boogie Street market. We're going to have a look at what food they have to sell and what goods they have to sell also, I suppose. So. But uh, we're not going to show you the whole market. We're going to try and show you as much as possible. The market's really huge. So let's go. Yeah. First thing we're going to do is start filming on the street in front of the main arcade. A little bit more space to move out here. And this is apparently the place in Singapore to get good deals, souvenirs, and all sorts of goods. It seems you can buy everything here. Maro's got her camera with, also doing some film or taking some photographs by our Instagram and Facebook. If you haven't joined them yet, please do so, or please feel welcome to do so. Look at all those rickshaws lined up there. Just behind there, there's a hawker center also. Just go making our way upward this little road. Lovely weather here today. Quite an activity here. It's Monday afternoon. Plenty of people here in the middle of the square. It's a big Chinese statue. According to this sign, he is Hu Yuan, if I pronounced it correctly, a citizen of Chu during the period of the Warring States. And walking down another little alley here, it looks like the children's department, if one could call it that. So many children's clothes ahead of us. Okay, I was wrong. It was just the first shop that was children's clothes. Now there's a little bit of everything here again. Wow, it's just getting sold to over here. Good deal. Here in the middle of the market we have a shrine or temple. I'm not quite sure whether you call it a shrine or a temple. Well, Chinese viewers, if any of you know, or obviously you know, please do let us know down in the comments below. I'd love to hear it so we can say it correctly in the future. It's written that this particular one is open 24 hours a day. We just stopped for a sweat wipe off break. I just wiped the sweat off my head and everywhere else. But it's right back again very quickly. So don't worry about it when you come to Singapore. You're going to sweat just like the rest of us and everybody else here. Just get used to it. Just get used to it and uh, Take it as it comes. Enjoy your cold shower when you go back to your hotel. Nice men's pants over there. He has a little nursery straight ahead. It's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be this market. These cats, waving cats, are very popular here in Asia. I was having a closer look there. And the umbrellas are of course not for the rain, it's for the sunshine. And as we cross the road, the market continues. Nice fresh breeze blowing even though it's extremely hot. It's nice to be under the green trees. Just ahead of us we have a Chinese supermarket. They call it a Chinese supermart. the Chinese music. Coming up on a temple just ahead of us. Some beautiful flowers here. Let's just have a look behind us from the direction we came from. Just behind me right now is a temple. We'll have a look at that in just a moment. I'm just wondering to myself whether we're more in a Chinese market, whether this is Boogies or Boogies is that alley we were standing out at the beginning. But we are going to cover that alley. And close to the Boogies Alley is this entire street full of booths and very enjoyable to walk through. As I mentioned earlier on, it's about one o'clock Monday. It's surprising how many people are actually on the move at the moment. I think they were all at work. Maybe it's a long lunch break here in Singapore. So many lovely flowers being sold to take with, with into the temple. A quick look back again towards the temple through the flower booths. 
here is the very colorful Hindi temple. Indian temples are always so decorated, so colorful. Look at these figures lining the top of the temple. Amazing. How much work goes into this? Rather impressive. If you're going to go on there, don't forget to take your shoes off. As I was filming, I just heard somebody mention that this is one of the oldest Indian temples in Singapore. If anybody knows if that's correct, please write it down in the comments below. Well, it's definitely a very old temple. It says here the temple began as a shrine under a banyan tree in Waterloo Street in 1870. So right now we are on Waterloo Street. It's also the location of the shrine as I just read out. Or the Hindi temple, sorry. Made it up here to the square again. Now we're going to go down one of the other roads. Looks like we got a queue for ice cream sandwiches up here in front of me on the left. If you're in Singapore, that is a must. Try an ice cream sandwich. Maro, Maro and I had uh, our first one for this trip yesterday and they were as good as always. Okay, this street doesn't seem so busy. Not many stalls here, it's more real world shops with restaurant seats outside. Shops and restaurants. Okay, down in this area the market does seem to end, so we're going to go back up and uh, down towards the main Boogie Street Arcade. Back here again in the market square by the statue. And Maro just gave instructions that before we move we need a drink. So we're going to get some kind of a drink. I'm hoping we get sour soap. It costs one dollar for a tin. Is it sour soap? Yes. Lovely. Bring it in closer for a closer look. It's a drink we had last, or at least I had last time we were here in Singapore at Little India. It's a lovely drink. It's very refreshing. There's a little bench there, so we sit there for Yeah, it sounds like a good idea. It's good? Uh, it's nice. It's not sour, it's sweet. But it is called sour soap, isn't it? Time for my sip too. Really good. Some of you might have noticed I'm wearing the sunglasses. It's not to be cool or anything like that. I just noticed in many other videos when there's sunshine I'm squinting a lot. I don't want to squint too much. And those are real vintage glasses, aren't they? Those are 1990s Ray-Bans. Down there then you can see the sign for Boogie Street. Looking like Maro's gone into some kind of shopping mode over there. Okay, I was, didn't think it was going to happen, but Boogie Street caught us. Maro's in, now in officially in shopping mode. Four t-shirts for a granddaughter, four for ten Singapore dollars. Someone got some shopping done? Ten dollars for four little t-shirts, so it's not bad. Ah, it's not a bad price, I must admit that too. Shopping down, now we can continue. Now we're going to be heading over to the real Boogie Street. It's going to be an interesting market. There's already a strong smell of durian coming from in there. And we are in. As I can already see, it's a little bit of this and a little bit of that. A lot of souvenirs. Chocolates for sale. So here we are in the arcade. It's quite a hustle and bustle already. It's warm, but not as bad as one would expect with so many people. A lot of interesting shops. Some juice shops. We saw some guava juice also. We love guava juice. We'll probably try that just now. And down there you can see what's going on behind me. Of course, we're going to carry on filming the can down and then uh, we'll have a look around afterwards ourselves too. It's quite a big inside market. Alleys go down to the left and to the right also. More clothing down that alley. So we head to the left, there's a big food stand. 
good smells coming from in there. We just got to quickly walk through this alley here, have a look at the clothes, show you a few shots of it. A lot of choices of clothes here. Clothes all the way down. It's a whole lane of bags. We made it to the end of this clothing passage so we'll return back to the main stream where the food is and everything else is going on. We'll catch you there. And here we are again back on the main walk area. Back in the hustle and bustle. So much to eat there. We just realized that there's also an upstairs area here. We'll go up and have a look in a moment. As we mentioned in the beginning of the video, we're not going to show you everything. It's just to give you an idea of what Boogie's Street is like. And uh, we'll leave it up to you to check it out when you are in Singapore. More shoes here. Those of you who appreciate old architecture, don't forget to come out of the alley. And have a look at these lovely stairs. Look at that. Let's make our way back into the market. There's another t-shirt store. Four for ten here. Three for ten and I think I saw one with three for twenty. Maro got the 4 for 10 deal. Well, I bit, ah, it's those fish sandals. We saw those in Thailand earlier on this year. In your dreams. What is that, size 47? Size 47 fish on my feet. Something's fishy. Let's have a closer look at those fishy shoes. And there we have the end of the market. Goes out onto the street there. I guess we've got to take the escalators upstairs and see what's there. And here we are at the end. Let's make our way upstairs. Remember, no smoking here. The fine is $1,000. Goes Mano, just heading upstairs. And here we are on the first floor. This looks a little bit more exclusive. Exclusive by Boogie Street standards, I mean. It's a lot cooler up here too. More shop looking shops. If that makes any sense. You need a pair of flip-flops. Just behind me there's a hairdresser also. I'm not gonna film there. People in peace to have their hair done. There's a nice selection of caps down there on the end. Some sunglasses there also. Well, there you have it. We showed you Boogie Street and the surrounding areas. It looks like a worthwhile place to visit. It was nice, we enjoyed it. We enjoyed the outside area most, I think. Um, if you are in Singapore, it's worth coming along just to have a look around at what's available. And uh, we hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do leave a like down below. It does help the channel grow. If you haven't subscribed already, please feel welcome to do so. We'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye from Maxi. See you. Bye-bye.